Hello. So there were a few posts on the forum lately about how to change modules in the A modular, how to disassemble, how to take out ones that are already installed, how to change them with other ones, and how does uh, that all work. So I thought today is a really hot day here in Australia. It's about 36 degrees. It's very smoky because there are a lot of bushfires around. I thought, you know, that's the perfect time to do a little video about this. So I have down here the signal amp and that's a very bad position because I'm using it mostly uh, with the VCO triangle wave and the drum kit 010 which is a little bit on the low side. I want the signal amp up here. So I have to move all of these over, put one of the blank ones in here because I don't really have anything what I want to put in there for now. So yeah, Bit of a rearrangement, um, but um, as you watch me, you can see how that all works. To make my life easier, I will disassemble this and I will take the upper row off by removing the hinge kit, uh, which makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, handle them. So first, to remove the hinge kit, you kind of just loosen those screws here at the sides. That. And then I will just remove the top screws. So as you can see here with the hinge kit there's the, this little cable which connects the two cases so that the top case can get the bus and the power from the from the bottom case. So just kind of remove that and here we go. I have uh, the two cases. So what do I want to do? I want to put this signal amp module somewhere next to the drum kit. So what I want to do is I want to move all these three modules one over and um, then put the uh, signal amp in, in between the drum kit and the two VCA here. That's the idea anyway. So to remove things, let me just get rid of uh, this big, big one here. So to remove modules, you do not actually touch those screws here as you would think but you actually have to do it from the back side. And here you see those screws. These are holding the modules in place and you just have to unscrew those to loosen the modules. So at first I will uh, remove this, um, this, this blank here and then I move everyone over across. So just kind of put your finger there and here you go. So I will remove these two screws my Phillips screwdriver and you do not have to take them out you just kind of um, loosen them they actually stay nicely in the case and it's already loose here so now you can see also if you look in you see that the screws are still in there and there's the bus the bus port here let's put that to the side Okay, so now um, I want to just one by one move those modules across until I have a free spot here. So again, remove the screws or loosen the screws. And what I do is I just kind of push and that pops the module out a little bit. So now it's out and here I need to loosen them a little bit more. Okay. So I had to switch to my little fuzzy microphone because it's just a bit too windy. So unfortunately I have this cable dangling so I hope you don't mind. I try to keep it out of the way as much as possible. So once uh, the module is loose you can um, pull it out 
So now you can see that it is um, attached to the bus here and all you need to do is just pull it off and here's your module. Now that's, let's look at this bus cable because you can see that it is folded like origami. Really intelligent design because it's, it's space saving but you can pull it out like this, which is really cool. So you just kind of have to fold it back in to make it all fit. So now I want to move this module over to this side. So I take the bus on this side out, pop it on, and put the module in place. Now this is a little bit tricky, so you have to fiddle around a bit. I hold it in place with one finger, and then usually just kind of screw like this. So that worked. Okay, so the first module is done. Now the next module. Unscrewing it. Just loosen the screws, don't take them out. And push. It's still on. So I'll just kind of a bit more. Oh. Wrong direction. Module is loose. Again, pulling it out. Removing the bus and shifting it over to the right. Popping it into the bus. And then folding it back in. And only two more modules to go. So now I have um, one empty space here and this is where the signal amp goes. So now I will take out the signal amp module from the other case and I'll just put it in here. Now this is where a lot of people have problems is when they have just a tiny opening and they want to squeeze a new module in there. Uh, but really this is where this folding of the bus cable really comes in handy because I just really pull it out all the way and then kind of wiggle it in like this. So I just um, zoom in. So you just kind of pull it out like this and then you wiggle it in. Voila, so now 
you have to kind of move it around a little bit to fold it back in place and align it with the screws. And and then just uh, fasten the screw. Here we go. Now now have the signal signal amp in place. Everything moved over, across. So the only thing left to do now is to um, attach the two cases together again. So just take my big case and um, we'll put the bus cable in again. So just put it in like that and just align screws on the sides okay so there you go it actually wasn't a lot of work i only use a normal screwdriver obviously if you have an electric one it's much easier especially if you have to rearrange a lot of modules which i've done with this case before which, you know, only took 20 minutes or so, so it's not a lot of work. And it's fairly easy. Um, even just uh, putting a module in between, you know, a tight, tight space there is um, with this bus cable, if you just pull it out, uh, don't be shy, um, then it just works. So I hope that was informative for you and um, yeah, good luck rearranging your case. It's actually good fun. <laughs>